Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Evan, owner of Eastside Prince. Along with my wife and my children, we are a small 3D printing business based out of Kansas. We are starting this YouTube channel to just to document all of our, our history, uh, the ins and outs of running a small business from a side hustle project kind of thing and uh, how we make our products. Eventually we're going to be getting a UV printer, so we're going to be adding on to what we are capable of doing right now. Um, if you're interested in any of that, please like and subscribe and uh, follow along for more content. So today we are talking about the Hobby Lobby filament. So our Hobby Lobby here in town did get an order in, uh, and I was there, what day was it? It was Tuesday afternoon, and the cashier said that she had sold almost all of it already, and they had just got it in on Monday, stocked the shelves probably that afternoon. This is the only one that was left on the shelf. It's a PLA yellow. Uh, not really fond of the yellow color myself. I don't really use it in many prints, but it's what was on the shelf and I wanted to give it a go. So today we're gonna to be testing this out. All right, so like I was saying, this is the 3D printing filament from Hobby Lobby. It is PLA yellow, uh, unbranded basically, other than it being from Hobby Lobby. Only thing it says is $12.99 US crafts. Again, PLA yellow. It is a one kilogram spool, saying about 330 meters on the spool. Uh, decent diameter, saying plus or minus 0.02. So we'll see how it prints here. We'll do a calibration cube, a benchy, uh, all the fun stuff here. And if you hadn't noticed, I did get the microphone in as I was talking about in the last video, apologizing for the audio, I'm not, not shooting it, uh, well, I, I still am recording on my phone, but we have the Hollyland Lark A1 microphones now, so hopefully audio is a little bit better. And my gimbal does not like to aim down, so I'm gonna have to do this one-handed. But, here's the filament. Comes with a desiccant, all vacuum sealed. I don't really feel any air in it, so that looks pretty good. Doesn't look too terribly wound in the package, but uh, let's see if we can't go ahead and get that opened up. I do have a filament dryer. I'm not going to dry this before printing. Uh, at $12.99 a roll, this is more of a, uh, more of a, hey, oh, oh no, I just ran out of filament and I'm in the middle of a print kind of thing. I, you know, being a no-name brand, uh, we'll, we'll see how it does, but I'm still going to be using the likes of Overture, you know, Polymaker, Bamboo, that kind of stuff, Elegoo, Sunlu. So we'll see how this is. Apologize for the, the noise here. There it says PLA yellow again, kind of branded. Get that desk in out. And like I was saying, it, it doesn't look, I've seen worse winding before for sure. Nothing terribly obvious as being tangles, so 
we'll get this uh, loaded up into the, I'm going to use the bamboo P1S with the AMS for this. And I will just print it on generic PLA. Let's see, does it have a speed? No, it doesn't say a speed. It just says range 200 to 220. Kind of kind of the norm there on PLA. So, like I said, I'll get this uh, loaded up in the AMS. We'll probably use generic PLA high speed settings and see how it does. So as I was loading that up, I realized I'd never shown or talked about our printers. So here we have the P1S, uh, kiddos named it Panda. So we got everything labeled here. Uh, using a uh, BQ cryo grip plate, love that thing. Uh, I always print PLA with the door kind of cracked. This little decor item. Uh, it doesn't fit super great like the tolerances are just super tight on that thing and uh, you know I could probably adjust the door down just a smidge and it'd fit fine but it it helps keep the door uh, just partially cracked there we got the AMS uh, the original AMS we haven't bought a, a new new AMS 2 or anything so then we have the Creality K2 Plus with CFS and uh, got the Kadivi plate on that. So that's what we print majority of our, our bigger items on. Um, the Panda or the Bamboo is running the 0.4 millimeter nozzle. So uh, not a aftermarket nozzle by any means. It is a hardened steel still from bamboo though. All right, and we're back. The calibration cube is done. Let's see. Yeah, sorry about the mic here. Just checking to make sure it's on, but peel that off there. Oh, why? Looks good. X looks great. Bamboo and the slight little overhangs. Let's see if I can get that to focus. Yeah, I mean, that's not bad at all. Bridge just fine. There's the inside. No stringing at all. And that was generic PLA high speed settings. So, all right, let's go ahead and run the Benchy. All right, so I'd done the screen record earlier, but I don't think it recorded any of the the audio, the volume. So here's the bamboo cube that I had printed. Just going to go ahead and delete that. Throw the 3D Benchy on. Let's change the filament over to, see it says generic PLA high speed. Sorry, the yellow. All right. And I've got adaptive cubic as the infill rather than grid. So let's go up here, slice it, and send it on over. Let's see. 46 minutes? What? I'd hope not. Let's see. Uh, so sending 
And it is 1221. I don't know, do you guys pull your purge line in the middle of the print and you wait for the for the end? I've heard both ways, but anyways, here's the 3D Benchy printing. Uh, we had said 46 minutes was the slice time. I think we started at 12.21, and here it is, uh, 12.48, so, yeah, definitely a lot longer than, uh, they normally do from this pre-sliced file, but looking pretty good so far, we'll see how it does. Alright, so, I ended up getting busy trying to edit the this video ahead of time kind of late getting this uploaded and out i was on shift at the firehouse so anyways here's our benchy uh we definitely got a little bit of string in there but that is most likely due to not drying it overall looks pretty darn good you know just a little bit of fuzz that could easily be taken up with a torch uh, let's see around that hole where I had to bridge that looks pretty good a little steering wheel in there yeah, overall, I'd say that's pretty darn good for an in-stock no-name filament. So you can see it's the CT3D XYZ, uh, should say 3D Benchy here on the back. Yeah, it's the primitive model in Bamboo Studio, so not bad so overall here you can see our benchy our calibration cube both came out pretty darn good for 12.99 and needing it same day this hobby lobby filament i think it'll get you by now you want to be sure to try and use batches from the same lot you know every single filament company is going to have different hues when it comes to yellow black white gray any of them honestly they're going to have different mixing values for their colors and if you're printing you know you're throwing yellow in with the yellow the hues could be off a little bit, but if you're needing just some uh, inexpensive filament to get through the day, I would not balk at this 3D printing filament from Hobby Lobby.